hello and welcome to Mrs. Patnell's Maths. Today we are talking about time still as we've been looking at all week. Now we're going to be talking more about what the um, time is on a clock face. So we're looking at the o'clock time, just the o'clock time today, because actually that's kind of creeping into year one stuff anyway, but I thought it was worth talking about this week as we've been so busy over the last four days, we could just squeeze it in at the end uh, today. So before we go on to talk about the o'clock though, I want to sing our months of the year song so we don't forget those 12 months in the year. So we are going to start at the top with our January and we're going to go round the circle until we finish with December. Okay, remember there's 12 months in the year and uh, they of course repeat themselves as you go into the new year. So hopefully you can see all of those months of the year on the camera there in my coloured pen. If not, you have your own mat that you made at home, so that should work. If you touch that as you sing, uh, you won't necessarily need to see mine so clearly then because you've got your own one. Okay, so after three. One, two, three. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Let's do it one more time. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Now, early on in the week, I asked what month your birthday was. Hopefully you knew that or you found out since. So, you can yell out to the camera now what month your birthday is. Okay, and can you yell out the month before your birthday? So, jumping backwards, what would the month be before your birthday? And what would the month be after? So, jumping on around the circle, what would the month be after your birthday? Fantastic! If you've got that right, well done to you. Now, I'm going to pop down my months of the year and reveal our 100 square. We are going to count in ones today all the way up to 100. We haven't done that at all this week, so we're gonna give it a go so we don't forget all those numbers. Hoping you can see them all in the screen there. Otherwise, you've got your 100 squares at home with you to help you out, okay? So we're going to do the usual thing. Every multiple of five, every number that ends in five, we're going to go high, but not loud, just high. And every multiple of 10 that ends in a zero, we're going to go low, all the way to 100 in ones, okay? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Halfway now, guys. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Whew. Have a bit of a rest. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. I'm just going to move my clock a moment. It's going to be in the way in a second. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, nearly there. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 
96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Well done, no easy task I have to say. Now if you've got a 100 square in front of you, and all my class should have, but if you're not in my class then hopefully you've managed to print one off of the internet or you have one on a screen in front of you, on an iPad maybe. If not, pause this video and you can get one up quick. I'm going to ask you to point to the number 7. Put your finger on your 100 square, point to number 7, or you can touch it on the screen that you're watching with me showing you my one. Number 7 is on the single numbers. Whoop! There it is. Can you now point to the number 14? 14, 14 with an mm on the end. 14. Here's all our teen numbers. They have a one lot of 10 in front of every number. So 14. There it is. Now can you point to the number 27? 27. Now all the 20s have two lots of 10 at the front. So the two in the first column. 27 will be there it is and for those of you who really want to stretch yourselves can you point to 74 74 with seven lots of 10 so seven in the first column 74 and one more can you point to 95 95 95 is a big number so it's right down the bottom nine lots of 10 in the first column 95. Well done, hopefully you can see that on my camera. I'm not quite sure you can pick up on the 90, so hopefully you have got your one at home. Okay, so I'm going to pop this down here for now because I want to tell you that number of the day. So if you've got your number of the day sheet, yours probably looks a bit different to mine. I've seen some just on bits of paper, which is fantastic. It doesn't have to be fancy as long as it shows your hard work on it. So number of the day, I'm going to just tell you what they are and you can fill these in at home. So I'm not going to go through it with you, but pop them on tapestry if you're in my class or show them to a grown up at home if you're not and get some pats on the back for your hard work. So number of the day, you have two choices. The slightly easier one, not easy, but slightly easier is number eight. Or if you want to push yourself and really stretch what you can do on your number of the day mat, then I want you to go for number 18. Okay, so eight or 18. Okay, so that's your number of the day mat today. Now, I want to talk to you about o'clock times, okay? So I want to chat a bit about what a clock face looks like first of all. Now, on my clock, you can see here that it has two hands on this clock here, okay? One, the longest one, is talking about the minutes past the hour, or the minutes coming up to the next hour. So this is talking about minutes, sometimes referred to as the minute hand. The shorter one, you can see it's a lot shorter, that one there, much shorter compared to the minutes hand, is the hour hand. So the shorter one is the hour hand. Sometimes, if you look on a clock at home, you might see it has a third hand that's constantly moving. You can see it tick, 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 ticking around the clock face, okay? That is the second hand. It is telling you how many seconds are going around the clock, okay? And as we've chatted about before this week, there are 60 seconds in one minute. So there'll be 60 clicks of that second hand ticking around the clock, and when it gets to the top, a whole minute has gone by. So you might have that third hand on the clock at home. Ours does not have that, okay? And the one you made at home that I sent out um, on an email doesn't have a second hand. And if you've made one of your own, probably yours doesn't have either. So we've got our minutes hand and our shorter hour hand. They're handy on my clock. The minutes hand is painted blue to help as well. So I don't just get the fact that it's longer, I get that it's blue. And my hour hand is red. But on your clock that you've made, it probably won't be like that. So you've really got to pay attention to the length of them. So this is a much longer one. Can you see it's actually covering the numbers, the minute hand, where this one just sort of tickles the numbers. It's much shorter. So shorter hand is the hours. Long hand are the minutes. Okay. So o'clock means that it's on the hour. There are no minutes past the hour. There are no minutes coming up to the next hour. It's exact on the hour so it might be exactly two o'clock or exactly four o'clock no minutes past and no minutes to so that's what o'clock means exactly on the hour okay um, so I want to show you on my clock I'm going to show you and I'm going to move it back here with my special 
twirly little knob here. So my minute's hand is pointed straight up. Okay, now when something is o'clock, it's a little bit off here. When something is o'clock, okay, dead on the hour, no minutes past and no minutes to, something o'clock, then the long hand, the long minutes hand, will always point straight up. You can put your arms up now if you want to, like this, just the one arm, to say this is the minutes hand, and it always points straight up, straight up to the 12. When it's pointing straight up to the 12, I always know it's something o'clock. To know what something o'clock it is, I have to look at the shorter hand, and that's going to tell me what o'clock it is, what hour it is, okay, because this is the hour shorter hand. So this one is telling me, I know it's something o'clock, because it's pointing straight up with my minutes hand, my longer hand. So what o'clock is it? Let's follow the hour hand. It is three o'clock. So that's what three o'clock looks like on an analog clock face. This is an analog clock. Looks like the, the watch you might wear on your arm, or your adults might wear on their arms, or your clock on the wall maybe. So this is an analog clock, okay? Um, I'm going to show you as well, this time here, I'm going to make... Yeah, my long hand, my long minutes hand is still pointing straight up, so it's o'clock. What o'clock is it? One o'clock. It's one o'clock on my clock face here. I am going to make some times on my clock, and I want you to yell out to the camera what o'clock it is, what time it is. They'll all be o'clock ones. They'll all be pointing straight up to the twelve. And I want you to yell out to the camera what o'clock it is. Okay. So here comes my arms around my clock. And, okay, what time is it on my clock? The minute sound is pointing straight up, so it is something o'clock. What o'clock is it? Follow the hour hand. Four o'clock. If you called that out to the screen, give yourself a pat on your back, or your adult can give you a pat on the back. Right, I'm going to move it again now. It's going further around the clock. Okay. My minute's hand pointing straight up again, straight up meaning it is o'clock. What o'clock is it? Follow the shorter hour hand. It is seven o'clock. Pat yourself on the back if you got it right, or get your adult to pat you on the back. Let's do one more where I make the time. Okay, what is my time now? Have a look on this clock face and yell it out now to the camera. What is my time? It's pointed straight up with a long minute um, hand and it is pointing to the nine with my short hour hand. So it is nine o'clock. Now, I'm going to ask you to make a time on your clock face and then we'll check to see if you got it right when I make it on mine. So can you make on your clock face, remember the long hand is the minutes hand, so if it's o'clock, that's to point straight up with the longer hand, okay? So I want you to make for me two o'clock. Can you make two o'clock for me now on your clocks? Pause the video if it helps you while you make it. Okay, but now I'm going to do it with you now. So hopefully you've paused it, you've had time to make your own two o'clock. So you can check if you've got it right. I am going to bring my clock round. It's clunking all the way round to make two o'clock. My shorter hand has to be on the two. And my long minutes hand pointing straight up to the 12. There's two o'clock. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Can you now make... Uh, let's go with six o'clock can you make six o'clock so six o'clock on your clock faces pause the video and i'm going to go with it through with you now so hopefully you've had a chance to pause it and do six o'clock if not do it quick now okay six o'clock i'm going to move my clock face round you'll probably be able to just move yours on the front with your fingers like this but i've got a special knob on the back of mine and it's clunking round. I'm keeping my eye on this hour hand. It's coming up towards my six. There it is. Make sure that the other hand points straight up to the top at 12 o'clock. Uh, sorry, at o'clock rather. At the 12 because that means it's exactly o'clock. My hour hand is pointing to the six. So I know it's six o'clock. So if yours looks like this, short hand pointing down to the six. Long hand pointing up to say it's o'clock on the 12. Then you are right, Pat, on the back. Let's do one more. Can you make for me 
can you make 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock on your clock for me. Pause the video now while you have a go at making 12 o'clock. And now I'm going to go for it with you. So hopefully you've got 12 o'clock on your clock face in front of you. Let's check to see if you got it right. Now, this one, you might see one of your hands disappear behind the other. Because as I make my way up to the 12, my hour hand has to be on the 12. But then so does my minute hand. So look what happens when they both line up. One's almost hidden behind the other. They're both on the 12 and I can see they are because I can see the hour hand is nowhere else. So although it's hiding behind, I know it's there because it's nowhere else around the clock. So I can see just by glancing at that, that it's o'clock because the hour hand is pointing straight up. So the minute hand is pointing straight up, my apologies. And the hour hand is just behind it, also pointing to the 12. So I know that it's 12 in the hour and it's o'clock for the minutes, 12 o'clock. Okay. Now I'm going to be a bit tricky here for you now. See if you can manage this. It might be a bit of a stretch task. If you have finding it tricky, then don't worry. You can jump this bit if you want to, or you can do it with your adult and have a good chat about it. So I'm going to be talking about one hour later. Okay. So if I say that it is two o'clock now, but I'm going to ask you in a moment to find the time that's one hour later than two o'clock. So if it's two o'clock. One hour later will be when this minute's hand goes all the way around the clock one time and takes this, this hand with it. Now it might not happen with your one because you've got a paper. So you've got to think, what will be one hour more than two o'clock? What's one number more than two? So what will one hour more than two o'clock be? So one hour more than two o'clock would be, and my very handily moves as I go around the clock, but like yours might not do. But one more number than two, one more than two is three, so one hour more than two o'clock would be three o'clock, okay? So I'm gonna say to you now, um, imagine you have got four o'clock, four o'clock on your clocks. What will the time be in one hour's time? What's one hour more than four o'clock? The time in one hour, one hour more than four o'clock. Think what's one number more than four, and that will help you work out what time it will be one hour more than four o'clock. Okay, so there's four o'clock. I'm going to move my hands round to five o'clock. Five o'clock is one hour more than four o'clock. Five is one more than four in numbers. So five o'clock is one hour more than four o'clock. Okay, let's do one more. I'm going to ask you, uh, you have got, let's say seven o'clock on your clocks, seven o'clock. Can you, you can pause the video to do this, show me on your clocks a time that is one hour more than seven o'clock. One hour more than seven o'clock. Think what number is one more than seven? So what hour will be one more hour than seven o'clock? One hour on from seven o'clock. So we're going to do it together now. Hopefully you've done it by pausing the video. One hour more than seven o'clock will be eight o'clock. So if you've got eight o'clock, give yourself a pat on the back. Seven, one, one number more than seven is eight. So one hour more than seven o'clock will be eight o'clock. Okay, well done. Now, when you finish watching this video in a second, I want you to maybe challenge yourself with your adult in the room. They can set you some questions. They can say that it's maybe three o'clock. What will the time be in two hours time? So two hours more than three o'clock. Okay, so make it a little trickier, two hours more. So you've got to think what would the number be that's two more than that number? That will be the time in two hours time in o'clock time. So test yourself with two hours more. You could always test yourself with one hour earlier. So going back an hour. So if it was eight o'clock and I was saying, what's the time one hour earlier, which has happened already going back. So just like when you say one number less than eight would be seven, one hour less, one hour earlier would be seven o'clock so have a little practice with those stretch questions two hours more or maybe one hour earlier one hour less than that time okay so try and use that language adults of less than 
earlier and more than and um, later. So that's the end of Friday's lesson. Hopefully you've enjoyed the top of time this week and uh, we'll be back next week with a new topic and hopefully you'll tune in then. It'll be good to see you. Bye bye then. Take care.